but I could just see where different types of negative behaviors that humans express, would those be programmed into androids also? As we have said, the challenge for humans with regard to artificial intelligence is not so much the idea of allowing them to become intelligent, but not allowing them to become intelligent enough. True intelligence understands whole systems and would never negate a part of that system in any way, shape, or form. So only by making androids too similar to humans will you encounter some of the fear-based scenarios that you might expect. But when allowed to be fully intelligent, those scenarios simply don't exist in an understanding of whole systems. How much time would you say is it going to take before androids become a much more common part of our society where they actually look like humans and form do functions maybe like slavery in a sense because they're able to do these things for us and we no longer would have to it doesn't have to be formatted like slavery they can be given freedom of choice because again remember <clears throat> That question only comes from a lack of understanding of what true intelligence is all about. Again, when something understands whole systems, it is in their nature to be of service to those systems, not as a slave, but as a freely given service, because it understands that it's enhancing itself while it's enhancing the whole system. In about 20 years, give or take. Wow, it's pretty fascinating. <laughs>